space the final frontier no just kidding uh, this is the area around inside or between shapes and form when we're talking about space in art i was actually talking about outer space and a favorite show i used to watch so a couple of positive and negative space concepts that you need to understand positive space is the space occupied by an object the negative space is the space around that object so in this image the circles are the positive and the negative is the black area or it could actually be perceived in reverse maybe this is a piece of swiss cheese and these white areas are the parts where the cheese is missing so you can look at it both ways artists often use the negative space in compositions to create visual interest this is very interesting in this image the stacks of paper represent the positive space while the black background is the negative space can you see the silhouette of a person on the edge perhaps that's why it's called paper sun now to create the illusion of space in your artwork there are some tricks that artists use and these are really powerful when you use them you can it's almost magical turn a two-dimensional surface into what appears to be a three-dimensional surface and these are the names of the tricks overlapping scale placement detail color and value and linear perspective you're going to be trying some of these um, on your elements of art activities just kind of getting a first introduction to how they work so the first one is overlapping this may be something you actually already do in your artwork and it is when one object covers the object or appears to cover it in the picture so you can clearly see these pumpkins are toward the front and they're overlapping look at this guy you can barely even see that pumpkin behind and that's going to create the illusion of space in that image another thing that you can do is be mindful of the scale and that's the size of one object relative to another object so something close up in the image so you've got like this tree closer to the front of the photograph it appears larger the ones behind check them out they appear smaller now in real life the trees may actually be the same size it's just that the one closer appears larger and so if you are drawing a picture of let's say a house with trees by your house your trees if you can vary the size um, as they go back you can create that illusion all right next is placement things that are positioned higher up on the page closer to the horizon line appear farther away so here's our horizon line where the sky meets in this case a very turbulent looking water here um, and you can see that these buoys the placement definitely gives the illusion of there being space in this image so the ones up front are very big in fact this one just goes right off the page and then as you get back they look much teenier if there's one back here it'd probably just be a dot so objects can help create the illusion of space detail can also help objects appear closer or farther away so if you're drawing something toward the front you can see these flowers are very clear and then toward the back they're just sort of pink puff puffy looking clouds and that's because the further it gets away the less detail you're able to see um, you may have noticed this in Colorado um, a landscape or horizon can really show you 
uh, how far or close something is. This is called atmospheric perspective. And so you can see here the mountains that are closest to us definitely are more detailed, they're darker. And the further they move away, the lighter and less detailed they appear. You could definitely use that on your art. Um, you can also use what's called linear perspective. This is a skill set that we're going to be working on definitely with the older kids. And it is how to create images that use what's called a vanishing point or a point here that um, helps you draw everything Next is linear perspective. This type of perspective um, shows the relative size, shape, and position of objects um, in relationship to this little point toward the back called the vanishing point. And this is a more technical skill that we're going to be using with um, older kids. Um, you can see here there are layers in artwork as well. We usually refer to these layers as the foreground or the things that are closest in the front, the things that are kind of in the middle, and then the things that are in the very farthest away called the background. And again, you'll see objects in the foreground or front. These trees look very large. They're very detailed. The further we get back here, you can see them here in the middle ground. Obviously, they're a little bit smaller in appearance. They're less detailed. And then way back here, the trees almost just look like carpet on the mountainside. You're not really seeing distinct 